Yo, this is Jay Valentine, and right now you tuned in to Warriors World TV, Off the Court. Kev here with another episode of Warriors World TV Off the Court. We are here live at 1300 on Fillmore. Beautiful location, downtown San Francisco. You guys got some time. You have to come check it out. Great location, great food. But more importantly, we are here with my man, the king of R and Bay, Jay Valentine. How you doing there, buddy? I'm good, man. So, obviously, I know you. You know me. But we're going to do this for all the viewers who obviously have, uh, you know, been familiar with your career but might not actually know the history of it so take us through like the process of how you go about writing songs say for yourself and what's the difference right. on, like how you would write for another artist um i guess i'll start with uh, writing for other artists it's more so like you try to if it's an artist maybe you don't know you try to you know it's always harder when it's a new artist because you're trying to gauge what they do mm -hmm. so hopefully either they can come sing for you um, they kind of come tell you their story, what they, you know. Because I always want to do things based on people's experiences, and so records really connect to them more so than just giving somebody a song, they just sing. Now, all the artists that you have worked for, I mean, I'm sure we could go down a long list of all the people that you have worked for. Is there someone out there that you haven't worked with yet that you have your eye on, or that you know, would be just like a dream a true scenario for you, or maybe you have a song already written that you think is perfect for that somebody? Maybe Missy, man. Missy, she's so like, cause like she's just so creative and like her energy is dope. You know what I mean? Like, and, and Missy is not an artist where, like, Missy to me is really about the music and about the vibe of it. Instead of it being like, okay, let's just dress it up to be this. Like, Missy came out as herself. Like, she came out in a, you know, a plastic bag, and you know what I'm saying? Like, and people just went crazy over it because it was just, it was just so creative. And for me, I think that would push me creatively to work with somebody like her, like she's dope. The new record that you got right now is called Lego. Mm -hmm. Tell the people about that, um, you know, where they can hear it if they haven't had a chance yeah. to hear it, um, and just what the whole idea behind that record was. Well, the Lego record is um, a really high energy record. Uh, it's fun, summertime. I just want, like, I, for me, like I just do music, you know what I'm saying? I think. It's one of those things where sometimes people get used to you doing certain type of records all the time, and that's cool, but for me, I do music. I do music for the love of it and to see the enjoyment from people. Now that we're you know, here and the basketball season's over, right. we can talk about the Warriors a little bit. First of all, how long have you actually been a Warriors fan? Like from Jump or? Yeah, I, I don't root for anybody else. Okay. I don't root for anybody else. I mean, I like, I like players on teams, and I watch the playoffs, and I love basketball, so. I'm, I'm just a fan of basketball, and a lot of dudes that like I played with growing up that I watched, you know what I mean, um, that, that made it to the NBA. So that's cool, but for, as far as like a team rooting for, I'm only rooting for the Warriors. And now, quickly, your favorite current Warrior and why, and your favorite Warrior of all time and why? Um, can I say Joe Barry Curl? <laughs> no, um, my favorite Warrior right now, I think it would probably be a toss up between Steph and uh, and uh, and Monte. Like I mean, like I like I like Monte's game, um, but all I mean, like from a scoring standpoint, I think all around though I might have to roll with Kurt. Kurt. Yeah. Okay. And then all time favorite Warrior and why him? I gotta go with I gotta go with Mully, man. I gotta go with Mully. For one, Mully is the homie. Right. Like I fool with Mully. I fool with I fool with Mully and Mitch Richmond real heavy, man. Like we actually play together out in um out in LA at, at um at certain runs and I've been I've been fooling with him for the last few years. But like Mully, dog, it's just it's like it's automatic. Mm -hmm. It's literally automatic. Like you, you play with him and 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 or even just watch him, man. Like you can just tell certain people who worked on their game. Like his shot is pure. RB game is this is a scenario. The R&B game's done with. You retired, and as of tomorrow, you get a call. The Warriors want you to GM I would need the team. Music. Yeah, right. They want you to GM, not I play. play. I you, don't play. <laughs> you can't play. I don't know if you seen my tweet the other day, but I had a tweet that was saying that, and I actually used stream it for a little bit. Even though I don't know how to work it, but I'm learning how to work Ustream. Um, I said I was going to shoot a thousand jumpers every day until the next season starts. Which could give me more time because yeah, it may be a lockout. It might be a while. So, 
just for a 10 day. I need a 10 day, dog. Master P shot a free throw in the NBA and said, uh. <laughs> I remember it. I don't know if you remember it. Shot a free throw, turned around, went like this, and like, uh. I was like, oh, that's the greatest thing ever. Of anybody who's ever played basketball, dog, like, he played in an NBA game. You cannot take that away from him. So somehow, I'm going to play in an NBA game. I don't care if I have to sneak on the court and get arrested. So I guess it would be safe to say that if you were named GM, you would put yourself on the team for 10 days. Yes. Finish this sentence for me. When the Golden State Warriors win the NBA championship, I will run down Fillmore Street naked. <laughs> I don't care. It is what it is. I'm, hey, we going to jail. Hey, thank you very much for coming through, man. Definitely. You know, I Thanks appreciate me, it. Bro. Um, those who want to get in contact with you, I know you got, you know, your yeah. Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, Let well, people know. My website is uh, jvalentine.com. Uh, my Twitter is jvalentine number one. Uh, it's jvalentine and the number one. I don't put the valentine and the number sign and all that other stuff. Don't J spell out one. Numbers. Yeah, don't spell out numbers. It's jvalentine one. And then my Facebook is jvalentine. Well, thank you very much. This has been another episode of Warriors World TV Off the Court. I am Box Kev, the king of R&B, Jay Valentine, and we are here at 1300 on Fillmore. Come check us out. 10 day. 10 day. Jay Valentine.